Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker somewhat of a tutorial, it's more of a top five list of the plugins that you must have. Now, um, these are going to be non-Yanfly plugins, because if we included Yanfly plugins, I can do a top 20 list and nobody else would get credit uh, but him. So now that we all agree that Yanfly is the industry leader on MV plugins, let's look at the top five non-YEP plugins that you must have. So starting at number five, we're going to have Moogle X Element Booster. Now it's a very simple plugin, there's not too much to it, but basically it lets you add potency to your elements. This is something that uh, is a staple of any RPG in, in, my, uh, in my eyes, something that you should be able to have control of in any editor. How strong are your elements, and if you equip certain items, are those items going to increase the potency? So if you're uh, casting the spell fire, um, if you want to increase the spell of that fire, besides affecting your level or the magic attack power, how would you do it? Well, the editor doesn't give you any way to do that except for decreasing all of your enemies' uh, resistance to it. Um, so, by adding this plugin, you're going to be able to create uh, what I would alias as potency, but it's basically an element boost. So, all you would do to add that is uh, add this note tag to any uh, armor or enemy or actor or class or weapon and uh, once you're equipping that weapon or if you're using a flaming sword then you can have it uh, do extra fire damage not only include fire damage but to do certain mounts so you can have like uh, a sword of, of flame and a sword of dragon's flame you know and then the dragon's flame will be more powerful not only in the stats but because you give an element boost or if you have an accessory that gives you like plus 10 percent to all your fire damage you can call it like the fire orb or the fire orb one and then you could have different tiers of those but anyway this is something that i thought should have been included in the editor most of these top five plugins will be plugins that i feel should have been included in the editor it itself but this is from moogle x and it's the element booster plugin moving on to number four Something that everybody should have in their uh, their game is the MBS Smooth Scroll. This is a very, very simple pr plugin. You don't even have to put any note tags anywhere. It's plug and play. Basically, all you do is set the, the margin and the scroll speed, and it's set to this by default. I haven't even messed with it. But basically, what that's going to do is as you're walking around, it stops the screen from like being so jarring and it like gives a little bit of leeway and it makes your moving around the game so much smoother and it just looks so much better it's the subtle things that make games great so MBS smooth scroll definitely a must-have I'm gonna put a link for the description uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description for all the plugins so you know where to get them number three Terex lighting now this adds such a good layer of ambience to all of your dungeons as you walk around into the, a dungeon and you can see through the walls and you know throughout the whole map it, it takes away from the atmosphere so by adding Terex lighting you're gonna give like that a whole nother layer so a lot of people refer to this as like the Pokemon cave uh, look when you walk into a cave in, in the, the Pokemon series it's really really dark except you have like a radius around you there are several ways ways to recreate that effect but adding Terex lighting uh, does more than just that it lets you change the colors of the lighting it lets you uh, add like a flashlight effect it, it even has like a day and night time cycle built into the newest version so Terex lighting such a good plug-in every game should have it um, definitely recommend that Moving on to number two, large choices. Now, this plugin sh is very simple. It's from HimeWorks, and basically, it's another plug and play uh, plugin. Super easy to use. All you, when you make a new event condition and you want to give the player options, you're limited. Like you know, in VX Ace, we only had four, but you know, MV they upgraded that to six. But why only six? Why not a, a, a list where you can uh, specify how many that you're going to be viewing at the same time um, or even automatically link them up? So if you're not using this plugin, you'll have to do uh, like show choices and then show all of your choices. And then on the next one, you'll say like more or next or something. And then that'll bring up another show text or uh, show choices. But in this one, when you're when you're using this plugin all you have to do is put another show choices underneath it and then you have option 7 8 9 10 11 and so forth 
and when you look at this in in game it's going to put all of these together now you may be wondering why this is above Terex lighting because this is such a useful plugin for so many reasons when it comes to scripting and eventing so that is a really really good plugin and I recommend it for everybody Hemiworks is large choices <clears throat> moving on to number one the number one best plugin that's not from Yanfly the sound cipher engine plugin battle speed up every single game should have this plugin it's in Japanese but it is uh, it, it's it's converted to English for the most part so sound cipher Sochiro Sakamoto made this one one of my favorite plugins to date uh, when we're talking about non yen fly plugins what this does is it allows the player to hold down the action button to speed up animations uh, everything but sound effects basically you can speed up your your battles it, it's it increases the frame rate when you're when you're in battle it makes your game feel less grindy it's just overall such a useful plugin that everybody should have so those are my top five I know I'm gonna have some people throwing out like oh you forgot this one you forgot that one please forgive me if I didn't include your favorite plugin but let me know in the comments below if you have a plugin that should have been on this top five list and if you would like to make a top five list put your top five plugins in the comments below but that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being awesome continue to like favorite share and subscribe if you like this sort of content and we will see you in the next tutorial